You can easily sharpen your image by duplicating the background layer. Rename accordingly. Then convert the duplicated layer to smart object. Now come to filter, order, bypass. You increase the value to whatsoever you find fit. Don't worry, we converted to smart object so we can come back and adjust the value later, even after applying it. Okay. Now change the blending mode to overlay. This was the before, this is the after. Let me show you. This was the before, this is the after. If you would like to dial in more values into the high pass, you double click on the smart filter. Now you can increase this value and see the result in real time or reduce it whatsoever you want. You can go on to max this effect out of any area you feel it is not supposed to be on. By taking your brush, make sure foreground is black. Create a layer max and max this out of area you think is not supposed to be applied. You can see this method is fast and easy, but it's not the best method of sharpening your image because it doesn't give you more control. The controls it gives you is just one slider and just your opacity to reduce or increase the effect. I'll be showing you how to use a more robust and powerful way to sharpen your image that gives you the control to target even the finest details in the sharpening process. So we can turn off this layer and create another duplicated layer, rename ACR sharpening. Now convert this layer to smart object once more so that we can come back and make readjustments. Go to filter, camera roll filter. In the camera roll filter, we'll first go on to the detail section. And in this sharpening section, I'll explain the sharpening, the radius, the detail, and the matching sliders to you, one after the other. You can see these three sliders below are grayed out because the sharpening value is zero. So just increase the sharpening value and you can see that. The radius slider controls the size of the sharpening. So if you increase this slider, the value to be sharpened will be larger. And if you reduce it, the value will be smaller. Remember, realism is in moderation, so don't over increase the sharpening, but we'll in increase it very high in this tutorial so that you can see how these values affect the sharpening result. And you can see we zoom in so that we can see exactly how this is being affected. The details, if you increase the detail slider, more details will be sharpened, and if you reduce it, lesser details will be sharpened. Then this maxing slider is just for maxing out the sharpening value from some areas and making it more visible in other areas. To see the area where the sharpening is applied to, you hold Alt on your keyboard and then you move the max to the right. As you can see, the dark portion is where no sharpening is applied and the white portion is where the sharpening is applied. So if you notice something here is that the outline is where it's sharpened more if you move the slider to the right. Why everything is sharpened if you move the slider to the value of zero. So by moving the slider to the right, you can see that the outline will be more sharpened, making the image pop out more. So most times it's good to apply some values here in the maxing area. Don't overdo it. Just somewhere around 10 or 20 between this value is a good starting point. You can go on to do whatsoever you like later on, but for the beginning values around this is okay. So you can see the control we have here is much and enormous, allowing us to control the individual values here. This was the before and this is the after. Increase the value more 
increase the radius more you can see the sharpening is now larger in value so this was the before this is the after let's zoom in to see this effect no this was the before this is the after this is now the only thing we can do here in the camera row we can still come to the basic section and increase the texture you see what is happening right increase the clarity a little bit more and the haze. you can see how sharp on this image is now we are almost losing realism here but this is a tutorial to demonstrate how these values affect the sharpening effect on your image so come to the effect slider here and increase the grain you can see if the grain value is zero the size and the roughness is grayed out but if you increase the grain value a little bit you can see these values are now being active for us to manipulate the roughness value here the size value increases the size of the grain while the roughness makes the grain more uneven and make it more realistic so you see those values here don't worry you can come back anytime to readjust this since the layer is a smart object so let's see the before and after this was the before and this is the after click on ok this was the before this is the after Opacity is still here for you to adjust to reduce the effect or if you like you can just double click on the camera roll filter to go back to the filter and make some other adjustments you can reduce the values or increase them or so ever just keep realizing in mind why you do any of this okay sometimes your image are naturally sharp from camera like they are looking sharp but you want them more cripsy and you want it done smartly let me show you the best sharpening method to use for that turn off this layer again create another layer by duplicating the background layer rename smart sharpen as you try come back to smart object to give you the flexibility of coming back to readjust the sliders in the smart in order to apply the smart sharpen you go to sharpen smart sharpen here we have three basic adjustment to mess around with the amount of sharpening you want the radius which is the size of the sharpening and you can either reduce noise to smooth out or increase if you over move this slider you can see that the effect is not looking pleasing so just something reasonable from zero you move it up and make this adjustment here and there you can remove lens blur, Gaussian blur, or motion blur if the image was initially blurred due to shaking of camera. But this image isn't blurred, so you leave this at the default. Now you click on OK. This was the before, this is the after life and subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell so that you'll be one of the first notified when we put out our full beginner friendly photo editing course on this channel. Let us know your feedback in the comment section. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.